This is why Riverside is far better than Zoom and a lot of the other platforms because if the internet goes out during the call, the entire recording basically goes kaput. If the internet goes out during a Riverside call, it's going to keep recording on the computer as they go along. And then if it cuts back in, then it just continues on the upload. Hey friends, today I'm bringing you a comprehensive guide on how to record virtual interviews like a pro using Riverside.fm. Before we embark on this tutorial, a quick heads up. This video is proudly sponsored by Riverside.fm. I bring you sponsored content only when it's a tool that I genuinely use and trust. Riverside.fm has been my go-to for the past three years, especially for recording seamless and professional virtual interviews. So I'm gonna start by logging into Riverside. And you can see here, all I need to do is go to Riverside.fm and I get to log into my dashboard. Now I wanna go ahead and create a new studio from one of the studios that I've used in the past. So I'm just gonna hit the plus sign over here and I'm going to title this studio, New Studio. If you wanted to, you have the opportunity to name this based on maybe the person that you're interviewing or the topic that you're going over. For today's purposes, I'm just going to call this New Studio. Now, you have the option for recording audio only. I wanna record both audio and video, so I'm gonna make sure that this stays turned off. Transcription language set to English, of course, and then I could schedule this out in advance if I'm pre-scheduling this and then sending a link to someone. Now we'll hit create and this brings us to our studio. Now I can go ahead and copy this shareable link and this is actually what I'm gonna do because I'm going to copy the link, send it over to my other computer and that's going to allow me to jump on on my laptop to pretend to be a guest. So in today's studio, we're actually going to have a guest visitor and you'll see in just a moment. So I'm gonna jump into the studio on my main computer and this is what you would be doing as well. I'll type in my name, that's Zephin, and I'll go ahead and select that I am not using headphones. If I was, I do have the opportunity to select that I do have headphones, and then I'll choose the right camera. So right now it's just using my built-in webcam. I want it to use my nicer camera, so we use the Streamer X camera. Now it looks way better, right? Then we go ahead and choose our microphone. So I'm using the Shure MV7. And then our settings for the audio as far as speaker goes. So if the person on the other side is speaking, I want that to come out through my speakers. Then I will join the studio and bam, we are in our studio. Now what I need to do is invite my guest and get them into the studio. So remember I copied that link before and I can go ahead and invite more people here. If I just click on the, the people tab, I can see once the people are in or I can invite them from this box that's open right here. So I'm gonna copy this guest link and note that they have a guest audience or producer role. If you are a guest, you're going to be recorded. If you're audience, you are just sitting in kind of listening to the call. And if you're a producer, you get a little bit more control over what's happening in Riverside, but you're not being recorded on the call. Note that there are a couple of different types of people you can invite. There's a guest audience or producer. Now guest is what we're going to choose since we want our guests to be recorded, but you could choose producer or audience depending on whether or not someone is just sitting in on the call or if someone actually wants to have some control over recording the call. We'll stick to guest for right now. We'll copy this link and I'm going to jump over to my laptop for one quick second so that I can get my guest in on Riverside. Okay, so we can see our guest who is in on Riverside and today's guest is just my virtual friend here who's going to be sitting in and talking uh, we're going to keep him silent for right now, so he's not speaking at the moment. But as you can see in our side panel here, you do have control over the volume of both yourself and other people. I can also see information about the guest and the camera that they're using. So for me, right now it's just OBS because that's what I'm using to play back this video as kind of a fake guest. But for them, let's say they have like an Elgato camera or an Insta360 camera, you're going to see that camera in there. And then you're also going to see what they're using as far as speakers and microphone go. You can take them out of the call if you had to. So for whatever reason, if someone got unruly, you can remove them from the call. But this is your dashboard. This is where you're going to control everything. I'll give you a brief tour. So for one, we can title our recording at the top here. I will change this from untitled recording to VIP recording because this is our very important special guest today. I will hit save. There's some settings up here, so I can click that little settings bar 
and I can choose whether we're recording audio only. If we want some noise reduction turned on, we can choose our audio sample rate and then participant video recording. So you can select whether it's standard resolution, which is up to 720p or advanced, which is up to 1080p or 4K. Notice that when I choose this, it will allow me to switch over to a better resolution. You saw the screen kind of jumped a little bit. It's just changing over to the higher resolution. Now there's a lot more settings in here. There's transcription language, there's recording start, so you can actually show it a starting countdown timer before you start recording. And of course, there's other things that you can go through. I can't go through all of those in this video just right now, but I want to call out something that's happening here. So for one, you might notice that the image quality of both myself and my guest may start to degrade over time. I want you to know that that doesn't happen in the recording. This is just while you're on the call since Riverside typically has to handle one, two, three, maybe even four or five people in on the call. And so it's a lot of video feeds to show at once, but never fear the recording itself is actually in really good quality. And that's the beauty of Riverside. They are recording locally on each person's computer and that local recording is uploading while you're live on the call. So if they have a slower internet connection, it'll still keep going and uploading, but you might stop that recording and the upload might not be finished. All they need to do is just leave that window open. They can step away from the computer, they can leave for the day, but as long as the computer stays on and connected to the internet, that video can keep uploading until it's done. Then you can go in and grab the recordings later. This is why Riverside is far better than Zoom and a lot of the other platforms because if the internet goes out during the call, the entire recording basically goes kaput. If the internet goes out during a Riverside call, it's going to keep recording on the computer as they go along. And then if it cuts back in, then it just continues on the upload. That's why we have a massive, massive benefit to using Riverside. Now, let me go ahead and just keep kind of going through this because there's so many cool things that you can do here. For one, there's a chat tab so we can chat with our guests. Two, there's a media tab. So if you wanted like a clap track or a laugh track or some other files to play in the middle of your recording, you can do that. And then three, I want to show you this, this expand frame option. So if I am looking at a guest, I want them to be bigger. I don't want to see myself in this large window. I can go ahead and just check my shot real quick and hit expand frame on my shot and then expand it again depending on what I want to do. So that way I can see, you know, make sure my background looks okay, that this looks okay, my lighting looks good. I have the option to do that with anybody that's on here. So if there were more people on the call, we could do that. And that is not going to get burned into the recording. The recording itself is actually going to have the full 16 by nine aspect ratio of the video that's being recorded. Now we've got our guest in, I'm in, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and start a recording so I can show you what that looks like. And then we'll talk about a couple other features. So I'm gonna hit start recording and it will count down. It's gonna count down on both sides, both for me and for my guest. You see a little five, four, three, two, one. Now we are actually recording and Riverside's going to remind you in this top left corner, actual recording is higher quality. So once the call is going, you might see that quality degrade just a little bit. Just know that the recording is going to be just fine. This won't be a problem for you. Now, when you're in the people tab over here, you can keep tabs on your uploads. So notice how I can see that my host is at 1080p and you can see what percentage is being uploaded. I can see the same thing for my guest. So I can make sure that things are getting uploaded. I can also see it in the top up here to make sure that everyone is getting uploaded. So that when I stop the call, if they haven't finished uploading, I can say, hey, you know what? Just leave your window open for a couple more minutes and this recording is gonna keep getting uploaded to me and then I'll get everything that I need. They have a teleprompter. So if I have a script here that I wanted to paste in, uh, I'm just going to say, Mary had a little lamb, right? And then I'm gonna copy and paste this a few times just so you can see that it's a scrolling script. When I go and hit play on here, it will start to scroll like a teleprompter. Pretty nifty, right? One more thing that I wanna show you, we can also screen share. So let's say I've got a presentation or a PowerPoint, I can screen share my screen and then it opens up a little section where you choose which window or tab you wanna share. 
So that can all happen and get recorded into the call. So if someone is recording a PowerPoint presentation, they can actually record that image of the slides directly into the call. Really, really neat stuff, right? I mean, this is pretty darn cool. I'm very excited for this. And I've noticed that as I use Riverside, they've really been good about taking my feedback and asking me what I want to pull from Riverside. I know that I'm probably using it a little bit differently than your average user because some of the users are using it for podcasts, but I'm using it for virtual recordings, for live streams, and for video content because I want better looking video content that I can use even if I have to record it remotely when we don't have the budget to send out a full video crew. So this is Riverside. I'm going to stop my recording real fast. I want to show you what this looks like. It shows us a little uploading box in the corner. And for right now, I've finished already. We have 20 seconds left for our guests to finish uploading. So I'm going to let that keep rolling on through. That's mostly based on their internet connection and probably because right now my special VIP friend is coming from a laptop that's on Wi-Fi. So that connection is going to be a little bit slower than my computer that's hardwired in. Now look, we've completed. You can even see it up top in this corner, upload complete. And now we are both clear to leave the room. So I can say goodbye to my guest. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to hit leave and I'm going to end the session for all. So of course, I could download my record or my guest record. I can download us together as like a side-by-side -side format. But now that it's done this, it's going to start creating a transcript. Yes, it's automatically transcribing our discussion. And then I can go into the magic editor, so I can go to edit. If I want to adjust the frame size, I can go to a one by one. I can go to a nine by 16. I can go to 16 by nine. So there's no limitation if I'm trying to create some vertical video or some square video for other social media platforms. A couple other quick little things up here. One, you've got this button right here for magic tools. This is a new feature they've added. It's going to allow you to remove all silences from the video and magic audio. They're going to use AI to enhance your audio and make it sound better. All right, cool. Looks like our transcript just popped up. So now we can edit by transcript if we really wanted to. I can actually go in here and go to certain parts of the video and I can find it all based on this transcript. And we can correct some of the transcript if we need to, but this is how we can edit now. We can edit based on what's being said and we don't have to listen through a whole long video. We can just find it in the text now, changing the way that we're recording a virtual video, but it's also changing the way that we're editing virtual video all from the browser without needing any other software. And it's making our lives so much easier between having the transcript being able to edit based on text, being able to really quickly tweak the size and adjust for which social platform we're posting to. This really is an all-in-one solution. Now, if you're ready to elevate your virtual interview game, here's an exclusive offer for you. Using the coupon code ZEFFIN, you can enjoy a 20% discount on any Riverside plan. Check out the link in the description down below to seize this special offer. Ready to take your virtual interviews to the next level? Follow this tutorial. Give Riverside.fm a try, and don't forget to use that coupon code ZEFFIN for an extra discount. Any questions or experiences to share? Drop them in the comments. If you found that this tutorial is helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video.